This is Amsa, a Japanese melee player who after 9 years of traveling and competing overseas has finally won a US major. And the kicker is, he only uses Yoshi, a character who even just a few years ago most people would have said was incapable of such a feat. This is me. I don't really play melee, but when I do, I play Roy. He's not very good. He's 11 spots lower than Yoshi on the tier list, but I find him fine. And there's a slippy tournament that happens in my local scene every Thursday, so I give myself one week to prepare and see how well I could do, and also answer one very pressing question. Do you think that a skilled Roy can beat any fox? No. Yeah. Uh... Depends on the skill of the Royals and the high skill of Foxes, you know? Uh, yeah. But maybe not any Peach. Um, I personally don't. And another issue is I don't think a skilled Roy can beat any Ice Climbers. As in, like, yeah, I not can... a single one type of any. Day one, I organized a play with my friend Drizzly Bear and played some Slippy whilst I was waiting. Drizzly used to be quite active in the Irish melee scene and has a lot more game knowledge than me, so he was able to help me improve my consistency for stuff like shield dropping. So like, how I do it is like, I tilt my shield forward a little bit and then down a little bit. Or I, you kind of tilt it all the way forward and then into the like bottom notch on the same side. It's also easier if you're like running forward, uh, if you run forward shield and then do it. Oh yeah, no, Fox, um gets like this passive where he's unkillable past 150%. Oh, she has a chance. Oh. Ooh. That was a great one. Oh. That was kind of nasty. Most people when they dash dance, right? They just wiggle the stick because they know that's what you're meant to do. But the idea is to kind of like cut up your rhythm and chop and change your momentum. It makes it ambiguous when you're going to pick your spot to come in, especially like if you're good, you weave in and out of like the reactable ranges you might think about, right? Like there, I kind of just took my time to find myself into where like no human on earth would be able to react to an air, you know? Like there's dash dancing to get in, there's kind of dash dancing to observe, and then there's dance dancing to like bait the opponent into like throwing a move out at a bad place, right? Like that, right? Day two. I played some friendlies with Old Man G, a player shrouded in mystery who turned up and got second in the recent Irish Smash Major. Naturally, they made quick work of and dismantled my netplay Roy. It turns out when a player and their character are significantly better than you, it gets very hard to win. They say you're only as good as your last game though, so I suppose this means I'm better. Day free. I played some P plus for a little bit. This game's so fun. But I continued to play melee that night with my friend King the Luck. We were around a similar skill level, so I was able to practice my advantage state with a bit more room to breathe. And after drowning my way into an emergency best of five, I proceeded to win our set that night. So once again, I'm better. Day four. We're about halfway into the week here, and whilst I have felt I'm improving steadily, I'm impatient. I've got to up my game here. Let's improve faster. So I contacted Verdon, number three in Ireland, and winner of the tournament Old Man G got second in. We had a two-hour session of friendlies, and their insights on my gameplay were super helpful. That was, okay, that's a pretty niche kind of situation, but there you can kill me down her, I think. I think generally, if you're gonna down smash, you can just F smash instead. Do you know, um, do you know how to shield drop? Yeah, 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 watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh. Ooh. I couldn't do that for like six years. Like, if you're rolling your dash dancing, you wanna grab, probably, is like what you wanna do. You also wanna like vary the kind of length of your dash dances and stuff as well. And maybe throw in a few wave dashes. Just every now and then, just to kind of keep it, keep it fluid. But it, I think it's just one of those things where you kind of get used to it the more you play. So to see there, you kind of, you were dash dancing and I was, I was shallow when I went for my attack. Also, I don't know if you tried it yet, but you can, you can up for a fox and fall through into like combos. Not a, not a percent, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, <perfect>. oh dear. <laughs> do I need to do certain DI on that move? <laughs> Um, just don't hold down. Hmm, I held down though. Oh, in this stage you can go for the fucking... The upbeat yoke. That's oh, like a so thing true. on this stage. <laughs> okay. I can see the fucking <laughs> flame. <laughs> Why do you mean tough out of curiosity? Cause when I was like 14 or whatever, at this point we've been playing melee for like ages. Like literally since we were like three, I think. Uh, and then I remember I googled online like what characters are actually good in melee. Because at that point, I ended up using Samus. And then I, I, according to Google, like, Puff was, like, super good. And I was like, what the fuck? There's no way Puff is good. Puff has to be absolute shit, like. And then I saw videos from doing a rest, and I was like, all right, I'm doing this all I'm doing. <laughs> but then again, I am better. Yeah, I totally there we go. On that, but... <laughs> that one almost, that almost didn't kill. That's kind of crazy. No, no. 
What if I smash the out weird? Now nah, okay, it didn't work. There's a way to live, and I'll find it. Can we get the RTC rest? No. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, we're doing. <laughs> Why does everybody hit fighting puffs so much? This is class. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Verdon also shared a training resource with me, which I'd start using on day five. This resource is great for practice with dedicated game modes for finding weird dashing, L cancelling, ledge dashing, shield dropping, power shielding, as well as a general upgrade to melee's training mode that allows you to customize the opponent's SDI and behavior. I haven't got many days left to use this mod, but I'm confident I was able to improve my general tech skill because of this. After about an hour of practicing and ironing out my tech skill, I hopped in a call with Magi Magi, a top player in Smash 4 who also happens to play a lot of melee now that it has rollback, and I gotta say, I'm not sure they approved of the Roy. Please swap off. No, please not with Roy. I hit him. Please swap off. No, please stop playing Roy. This is so sad. No, not with Roy. Look at him. He's useless. No! No more nagging life. But all in all, I learned quite a bit from my friendlies. As soon as Roy's dash attack is so poor, you'll normally be doing this with, like, dash grab. Or, well, jump cancel grab, really, but... Is that jump cancel grab? It's where you do stun and grab. Yeah, like that. Ah. It'll make your grab range much longer and also less laggy. Good to know. You guys just became better at the game right there. Yeah, you did. Oh my god, he's away. Did anyone else think he was being kind of weird? He kept calling me his wife and we have been dating for three weeks. Good trip. <laughs> Good trip. Immediately after these games, I hopped on some more melee with John's dad's son, a friend of mine who's been taking melee more seriously since the beginning of the year after quitting Ultimate. And yep, that makes sense. We had some fun games and had a nice conversation about how fun melee can be after you get over that intimidating hurdle that is the skill barrier. Do you like melee more than Ultimate, Matt? Far more. Ultimate, I can play it and I can be like, this is a bad game. Like, even, even if a lot of it is, is just salt, it's just, it does not let me express myself. It's like playing... I guess the way I think about it is like playing on a piano that has those like presets. They might sound better to to someone who's not willing to put in the work. It was fun while I played it, but now it's like moving on to, you know, a piano where it takes a lot more work to make it sound good. But once you do, it feels amazing. There, there are definitely reasons to like it. I, it's the most, like some of the most fun I've had uh, this year from home is playing Ultimate 3 for Alls, you know, with James and Noah. But it's, I find it much better as that game. Melee, I don't play Super Smash Brothers Melee. I play Melee, the the competitive game. Um, and I choose to play it that way. Whereas Ultimate, I feel like I could play it a lot more ways, but none of them like kind of push me or let me express myself in within a, like an engine or within a system. It's so much more accessible at the start, but at the same time, there is a floor to be reached. Uh, you know, you don't have to be particularly able to, to perform feats, but you can work towards it with a very clear path. But if anyone was wondering like, hey, I want to start improving or something like that, I kind of want to get into that, P plus all the way. It's just the best of both worlds. It's, it's more it the is. accessibility. Day six. This is my last day of prep for this tournament, so I sat myself down and DM Sharp, the Armada of Sweden, a peach man who used to be based in my same area, so we are Twitter mutual. Sharp is a top 50 European player who recently achieved a score of fifth at DreamHack Rotterdam and was in the last round of voting for Summit. If anyone can help my Roy in this netplay tournament, it's Sharp, and thankfully, they agreed to play. Yeah, so the, the first thing to know about Roy is that he, he's garbage, but you probably already know that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like half half of his tool set is useless. Like you see those four airs? If that was Marth, you'd have a combo on me right now. But since you're raw, you you get you get two worthless hits. And then you die. <laughs> so true. <laughs> also since I play Peach, you will my kill percent is at like three hundred percent. And then you can maybe well 
Actually, never mind. And also, if I'm if I'm on the platforms here, if I just do this, you can't do anything because your moves suck. Your oh. all of your <laughs> suck. Yeah, I'm just thinking like, right? Like if I you, can do this. Like, okay, if you up air, <laughs> yeah. If you up air, it doesn't do it. like for up air me here. Isn't it punishable on hit kind of? It, see, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> if I get so the strong weak. hit, you're just like nowhere yeah it's it's so bad have you seen roy's dash attack in this game a little bit closer yep. yeah that hit it just goes straight through me <laughs> oh bounced into forward smash roy's best combo i respect that you tried to survive because roy can't this is good trade roy's best stage by far by the way if you ever get a chance to counter pick this stage go to this stage really? Yes. What about it? Does Roy particularly benefit off of? Uh, F smash, die, killing at early. Oh, you true. Know. It's arguable that FD, FD is probably better versus spaces because you can chain grab. But I'm assuming since you're not too experienced that you're not super good at the chain grab. <laughs> For anyone watching this wanting to, w wondering how to beat Roy, just remember that F smash exists. And you'll be fine. Sure. Oh my god, you got the, the the strong hit of dash attack, which did nothing. Oh my god, what was the combo? I got destroyed. Oh, I actually love how you're playing Roy. Yeah. This, is, this is how it's supposed to be. This is how you win. This is how you win the, the, the brackets as well. <laughs> Use CC, F smash, and pray. I used to be stupidly aggressive in this game, but then I learned that I could just not. Okay, the worst part about Cheek. Oh, okay. I was gonna say the worst part about Cheek is that you can never F smash her because she's always shielding in neutral, but you literally killed me with an F smash right before I said that. So. <laughs> Thanks for ruining my point. Okay, one F smash, shame on me. Two F smashes, you know. Shame on you. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you happen to run into a Peach who floats, give up. Oh, you countered my four there. <laughs> you how through the turret and it hit. <laughs> this is the, the craziest Roy I've ever seen. Huge. You've learned so much. Except, well, the most skilled Roy still gets down smashed by Peach. Day seven. All right, buckle up. The end is nigh, gamers. It's time to find out where my Roy lies in this oddly stacked netplay tournament that I have rightfully been given the death seat in. Okay, whatever. My round one, Lecky, an Irish Falco who's been playing this game for years. They won last week's netplay tournament, and Verdant specifically said that I would not win against them. I think if Alex ends up like it's a bit it's a, like you know, but um, I think I'm not maybe. By all logic, I should not win this set, but crazier things have out of it. At least I didn't get four stocked. My round two is Shroombers, a relatively new player who I've never heard of before. I four stocked them in friendlies and didn't drop a game. But don't let that easier comfort you in any way because they are higher seed. By all logic, they should win. And to make things worse, I give them detailed advice on how to beat Roy after our friendlies from earlier in the day. And I know it's good advice because I kept getting told it throughout the week. I had just given a falcon man a key to a car ride into the next round of bracket. If I wanted to win, I needed to become something greater. I needed to become a skilled Roy. Game one, we go battlefield. I take the first stock in nine seconds. Over the course of the minute, I take the next stock, establishing a two stock lead. I very quickly go for a dash attack and then remember why dash attack is bad. But I soon hit them with a beefy smash attack to bring them to their last stock. And then they SD. Let's go. Game two, they take me to my best stage because in an act of sheer buffoonery, I'd forgotten to mention that Roy absolutely folds the platform kind of thing, but they're new, so they hold forward. After gameplay so friendly that I cut it out of the video, we kill each other in a Dragon Ball Z homage, and I quickly get need, putting me down a stock. But I'm able to even things up by reacting to their role and hitting a nice little string that I admit I'm proud of. I'm up, but I get need, so it's even. But I read a roll and close out game two. Game free. They take me to Dreamland, my worst stage. But I figured if they want to go to the land of dreams, then I'll share the courtesy of putting them to bed. 
and taking the first stock handedly and the second swiftly. And after jumping out of disadvantage, I lose their third. Come on, give me a four stock. I am not a closer. I eventually kill them with Nair, taking a tournament set with a very skilled Roy. Round three, I have to fight a green Falco again, and this one's literally a pro. But I take the first stock and then proceed to get destroyed. At least they asked did. Game two, much the same. Didn't get a chain grab though. So game three, I go to Yoshi's story with the aim of killing this professional early on in the minuscule blast zones that I only took one stock, but it was kind of flames. But yeah, I got knife. Although I do think that the improvements I made over the course of this week are pretty apparent in my gameplay. And I feel good about that. I'd never taken a game off of John and Melee before, but I was winning a good amount. I was winning against the average Slippy player for whatever that's worth. So I feel the improvement has been leaps and bounds. I'll definitely hop onto Slippy more because it's just so accessible to boot up and get games, which from a P plus background, it's very refreshing. So to answer the question, yes. A skilled Roy can beat any fox. I entered the tournament and I didn't lose to fox. So that's that settled. Falco though, he's kind of tough. Boom shakalaka! Tried something new with this one. I think it went well. It's probably my favorite video I've made in a while. I don't know if that'll scale or anything, but at the minute I'm feeling pretty good about it. So if you feel the same and you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Also, um, my friendly as a sharp had like a lot of stuff that I ended up cutting. So I uploaded that, um, no music or anything because it was just kind of raw but i uploaded that to my other channel i'll link it on the screen you play p plus at all yeah actually i used to never play play it but then someone at my locals said i'll never win a p plus tournament because i never play the game and then i entered with peach and won <laughs>